Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Now, I hadn't really planned, I will be honest, I hadn't really planned to do this clip at all. And um, the whole reason around this is because I am genuinely shocked for the change. Now, you may notice that this is a very, very different style for me. It's not intentional. I wouldn't probably ever wear my hair out like this at all. This is just because this week I find myself extremely, extremely busy at work. Um, I work from home at the moment and I work in a very demanding finance role and I am super, super busy and stressed. And on top of that as well, and I say super stressed, I have to admit, um, on top of, of course, all the restrictions which we're all going through at the moment here in England um, due the, to the coronavirus pandemic, um, yet again we find ourselves in a second lockdown. Um, on top of that as well, I'm having an awful lot of problems sort of health-wise with my leg and my groin from two hernia surgeries all within a three-year period, which is causing me a lot of problems at the moment. So that's adding to my stress. So of course, I'm usually I'm starting work, working from home at the moment at around about 10 to 7 in the morning, and I'm finishing around about half past three. That's my sort of working day. So I'm up really, really early. Um, now, the last thing I've kind of been feeling, and this is really, really unlike me, um, is styling my hair. And I have to admit, since having my hair highlighted, which as you can see, it's really growing out now quite quickly, uh, to be honest with you. I really, really enjoyed having my hair highlighted. I find it opens up to a whole lot of textures in your hair. Um, it really does change your style. Um, and it can add that sort of that thickness, that volume. It seems to swell the hair out, making it a little bit more easier to style, gives you a little bit more lift. But something else which it also brings along is that you have to look after it a lot more in terms of moisture and keeping it well conditioned. So for example, you have to use heat protectant sprays, leave-in conditioners, oils, and more and more conditioner, to be honest with you, which is fine. I don't regret it at all. But when you have a real super busy week or you're not feeling particularly well, um, it's, it's difficult to stay on top of, I have to admit, but I find myself in a situation where I, I hate to be seen where it's almost like that I ha if I haven't got my hair styled, it's almost like that it's not me. It's strange, isn't it? I almost feel, um, I just don't feel like me, I suppose. So I was kind of playing around with different hairstyles and things, as you know from my channel, all contain a lot of volume, a lot of height. Um, some sort of off to the side, some straighter hair styles where I've used a, a straightening iron. Um, but of course, it will use heat. So from this sort of the title to this clip, I had noticed actually, and it was from, I believe he's a subscriber to my channel. Um, I was actually left a comment in regards to uh, having a, I don't know what you'd call it, man burn sort of top knot type style um, as a suggestion. First of all, when I read it, I absolutely categorically thought to myself, certainly not for me at all. And um, it was it was one evening where I was getting really quite annoyed and quite stressed out with my sort of fringe area is near enough to my chin now, and um, I thought, oh, I, I really need to I need to try something. I was trying to do some writing and things, um, work studying that type of thing, and um, it was getting it was getting late, and I thought to myself, this is absolutely ridiculous. So I literally grabbed a brush, kept brushing it off to the side, but of course it hangs in the front here. So, um, in the end, I searched around for a band, I had a look on online, and what they charge for just men's hair ties is colossal, absolutely ridiculous. So, I thought to myself, just a normal black elastic band, thin, it's not elastic band, sorry, it is a hair tie, um, and I've just used this, and I've literally brushed all my hair back, and I have literally just tied it up at the back here, because my hair's all pretty much the same length now, it's, it's, getting really quite long actually. Um, so this is all tied on on the top here and it's twisted back over um, just to hopefully keep it looking masculine. I don't want to be going for a feminine look or anything like that at all. Um, I still want to keep it really masculine, really quite slick back. And you know what, this works for me. Um, I have not used heat in my hair now for, we're getting it on to just a week. And the difference, which is the whole reason why I'm doing this clip, when I wash my hair, I can actually feel that my hair feels so healthy so sort of almost a new lease of life and i didn't know this and i didn't kind of i didn't come across this myself i use heat protectant sprays but i use a lot of heat and when i use sort of brushes which give me a lot of volume in the front um, a lot of texture height that type of thing of course all these things take a toll on your hair and it's a lot of heat when you use a, uh, a straightening iron um it is 
of course, a huge amount of heat on your hair. Um, but I thought that I look after my hair really, really well. I use um, some cheaper conditioners, some top brand conditioners. As you know, I review a lot on my channel, oils, leave-in sprays, that type of thing. So I thought to myself, um, what are we about? We are, I believe it will be the 7th day tomorrow. I think we're on the just about on the cusp of the week anyway. So it's been an incredibly stressful week with working one thing or another. Um, already and you know what? we're not even at the end of it yet um but it feels like it you know those weeks where it absolutely feels like it um and and yeah just with the stresses of everything else at the moment um so i i, I really had been sort of getting to the point thinking do you know what i actually haven't got the time to spend when it has longer and it's highlighted it takes a, a, a bit more time to look after it so i thought to myself do you know what? when i get myself ready and things what i'm just going to do if i'm not going out I am literally just going to take a leave-in conditioner spray and whether that be, um, I have several in regards to, um, and in our family bathroom, um, which my uh, my brother uses actually for super curly hair to keep that looked after. My mum uses it. She's got near on waist length hair. Um, so a lot of people use that in my household. So my family bathroom, I'm very fortunate as a, as a uh, several, um, one of which I've reviewed on my channel, the Hask Biotin Boost, which is amazing for creating uh, that soft sleekness and health in the hair but also promoting volume as well and looking after the scalp too so that's one i've got going on in our family bathroom um another one is i believe by palmer's uh coconut oil leave-in spray which i find absolutely brilliant and then i've got another one by hask um and i believe that one is like an argan spray which i'm not overly sold on but it does make my hair feel really really nice but i'm just not so keen on the smell of that one so what i have been doing is literally just after shampoo and condition my hair literally powdering it off and spraying, for example, the coconut uh, leave-in conditioner spray. I've been spraying that all throughout my hair, literally grabbing a comb or a brush and then combing it all the way back and then literally holding one side, brushing the opposite side so it's all nice and sleek all the way back. And then literally when I get to the top of my head, putting a black tie around the base of my hair here, tied back, and then literally putting it upwards and then putting it, it's about three times round because my hair is quite fine. Um, I, would, I don't want to say thin, but it's not the thickest. Um, so, and literally just three times in the background on itself, and then it holds all day like this. And do you know what, when I take it out, when I wash it um, at night time, the feel, it feels, you know what, I've just mentioned about thickness of hair, but it actually, since I've stopped using this heat for a week, it's feeling more naturally fuller. It's almost like the natural character of the hair comes back. My hair's thicker anyway because I take Viviscal hair growth supplements, which is fantastic. And I would recommend them to anyone. But through you can actually you can really tell what heat must do to your hair over a long time a uh, long term period. I'm not going to say I'm never going to use heat again because I will. Of course, I absolutely will. Um, the difference what you get from using a heated device when you're styling your hair is worlds apart so when you leave your hair natural it gives the hair that sleekness that shine that sort of polished style professional look which is of course what we all crave men and women um and it's of course what makes us feel confident um but when you're not going out perfect time if you're in a lockdown of course in in the uk at the moment or wherever else you're watching in the world is an absolute it's, it's a crazy year isn't it it really really is a crazy year um and of course we all like to look good but if you're not going out try it literally leaving something in your hair, tying it up in out the way. I say tying it up, that doesn't sound very masculine at all. Literally, if you're a man and you're watching this, slicking your hair back, if it's not even quite long enough, slicking your hair back, do it. Sometimes a conditioner dries a little bit more firmer, so it holds, and I've done that before as well, and my hair's uh, been uh, slightly shorter too. But because it is longer now, literally slicking it all back, literally using a band, stays all day. And you know what I've just been able to do? I've been able to crack on with my job. I'm literally on calls most of the day, to be quite honest with you. So the last thing I really had the time for this week anyway, I'm hoping it's not going to run on for much longer, this sort of real supersonic busy spell. Um, but with my uh, sort of health problems in the background and going on, do you know what with my leg and how bad my uh, hernia related problems are in my groin from having two previous surgeries, all happening within a three year period. Do you know what, sadly, I actually struggle to stand up long enough actually to be able to hold a, a blow dryer and style my hair off into one um style so this is actually great it really is great so for the person who actually suggested this and uh having a, like a top knot or a um what's it called like a man's band sort of type style i hate that sort of, i hate that sort of term for calling it that because it's not that um in my eyes anyway maybe it is um from sort of saying straight away no that wouldn't suit me at all and actually 
do you know this week I've, I've yeah it's gone really really well and the condition which has just come back in my hair is just absolutely incredible and um, my hair feels thicker um and it feels super nourished as well and the lighter bits which has grown out of my hair just feels really kind of revitalized i suppose you could use that phrase um so this clip is all about just saying do you know what sometimes leave the heated appliances alone if you're not necessarily going out or perhaps don't use it so often um, and really really invest in a good sort of leave-in conditioner spray for your hair whether you're a man you're watching this and thinking that's something i'm never going to use Do you know what? i used to think that i used to absolutely think that why enough would i need that why enough would a young man need that but you know what hair is hair whether it's on a woman's head or if it's on a man's head and if it's not going to look if it's not going to be looked after then it's not going to look great so really really kind of just pay attention to that as well and you know what? this is a perfect style for if you are busy or if you have got a lot going on literally doing this because if i'm on a call if i'm on a video call for example um if i wanted to do that you wouldn't see the back of my head and you don't um but then of course if you were going to, it looks smart, it looks tidy, it's out of the way. Um, fortunately, in my job, we don't actually use video calling. I'm just giving that as a suggestion. Um, it's always on the phone. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, but do you know what? I probably wouldn't wear it out like this. Maybe I would. I'd have to think about it. But let me know what you think. If you have watched this and you are and you are looking at it, let me know what you think. If it looks absolutely silly, be honest. Tell me. My hair is finer, so it's not much sort of up here at all. But um. Yeah, do you know what it looks? And I'm always worried about my hairline, actually, if it if it's thick enough or if it's intact enough. Um, but my hair is thick. I can certainly tell that my sort of the temples of my hair is much, much thicker with the Viviscal growth supplements. I mean, as you can see, I'm grabbing hold of hair here and it's here. So it's literally like I've got that straight line here. And as you see, it's not sort of arrowing, peaking back or anything. I did have this shaved and I'm, I'm growing it back through. But as you can see, the hair here... I mean, if you think it's not, it's not sort of gone up, but of course, unfortunately, we all have the potential of losing our hair in the front, um, men and women, of course, and it's and it's fine. So I'm, I'm quite pleasantly surprised. But um, yeah, looking on here, it does have. I do have. Um, yeah, much, much more of a thicker hairline there. So that's always a bonus as well. But I have seen men out and about with a style like this and they are a bit receded here or that they are right back. But if this is kept super clean and sleek, it can still look really, really cool. And it just goes to show that even if you have got thinning hair, if you have got that widow's peak, you can still have a really nice, whether it be defined hairstyle or a classic slick back look, it can still look really, really cool. OK, as I say, let me know what you think down below in the comments <laughs> and have a look through my channel. I've got so many different hairstyles and at the moment I'm not being able to do them through one reason or another, but we will be back. Um, and yeah, absolutely. And what better time actually coming up to the festive time when, of course, we are on show a little bit more and we do want to look our best and we're using all those things in our uh, heated appliances, blow dryers in our hair. And um, in the course, coming up to the Christmas season, hopefully when we'll be able to sort of mix again and come together as families and friends and what have you, you are then you sort of laid off the heat when you've not seen people around, then you can sort of really throw yourself into those really cool looking styles. Another thought there. OK, thank you very much indeed for watching my channel. And as ever, it means the world to me. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.